Hey there, filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show, and not just any episode. This is going to be this year's 2020 Easter episode. So happy Easter, everybody. Uh, hope you're doing as good as you possibly can and having the best Easter that you possibly can in the current situation, uh, current times. Now myself, I haven't been around in about three weeks as um, you know, I had to wrap things up at the frame shop. Uh, that's all closed up now. Um, family, you know, getting everybody here situated for what's going on, uh, setting up stuff here in the studio, because that's where I'll be spending most of my time from here on out uh, till things get uh, as back to normal as they possibly can, I would say. Uh, and I, I sincerely hope that we haven't lost uh, any of the viewers, subscribers, or any of your uh, extended family, friends, anything in uh, your own community. Um, hope everything is as best as it could be with you all. And that all being said... Here we go, the Easter episode of the GTM show. Um, we could have done like carrot cake Oreo, something like that. We skipped over those last year. Uh, we do have to catch up on our Oreo videos. My choice of things to focus on was going to be the uh, Cadbury egg. So I went to scoop one of those up, and turns out that there's many flavors of them nowadays. Uh, when I was a kid, it was just the chocolate one with the cream inside. Nowadays, we're seeing uh, the cream inside being switched out with chocolate, caramel. There's probably others out there. And then I also saw that all the other candy companies were making their own versions. Uh, we've already seen the Oreo one on the show in the past. Although I somehow felt the need to drag that thing back on the show again because it's now in a, a different form. I would say different packaging than it was the last time that we saw it. Uh, I also saw that Reese's was making their own eggs. So we're going to be checking those out today. They're like little maracas. They're filled with Reese's pieces on the inside. They're like hollow. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. All right, first up on deck, the original... Cadbury egg right there. Take all that in. We've all seen this uh, a million times over. Seen them in every stores around Easter time ramping up. Uh, just a chocolate cream filled egg wrapped in foil. All right, and there you go. Outside of the wrapper, that's what you get right there. I'm sure we've all seen this. It's got like a little spiral design on there with like a little star, a little crossy thing going on. All right, I'm going to chop this open so we can get a good look at the inside. Hang on. All right, and there you go. There's a look at the inside there. You see it's cream filled. It's all gooping out. But yeah, there you go. I got a little piece of it here on the hook, down the hatch. Standard issue, Cadbury egg. Yeah, not too bad. Like I say, standard issue. Had that a million times over the years. Uh, chocolate on the outside of that, I don't know if you noticed how thick it was. But like, look at how, look at how thick that shell is right there. You know, that's a lot of chocolate. So you get a lot of the chocolate flavor, but it's not overwhelming the, the cream filling that's on the inside, that's got its own kind of flavor to it. It's really 50-50, but the cream on the inside, highly sweet. It pushes it over the top. The chocolate itself is already sweet. It's not so much of a, a, a bitter or rich chocolate. You know, it's on the high end of the spectrum of sweetness. And that cream filling really just pushes it up and over. Like I say, the cream itself has a, a bit of a flavor of its own. I don't want to say it's citrusy, but something about it just reminds me of a chocolate orange. Just a hint of it. I don't know what it is. It, there's no orange flavor in that that I can sense, but something about it, I don't know, it just sets off those receptors for me. But definitely not a deal breaker. Like I say, I've had these things over and over the years. Um, they're pretty good. Um, not something that I would crave, though. It's If I come across one, someone gives one to me, something like that, yeah, I'll tear it up. So the standard issue, Cadbury chocolate egg, I'm going to give that solid four out of five. <laughs> As I said, they've got different flavors of these out now, probably many more than I stumbled across personally. But the next one that we're going to be checking out, just because I, I think this one's going to be like, I don't want to say boring. Yeah, I'm going to say boring. But this is a chocolate cream-filled Cadbury egg. It just seems like chocolate inside chocolate. Where does it start? Where does it end? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Okay, here we go. Once again, the Cadbury one outside of the wrapper. It looks like it's going down the, uh, the same type of line there because it's getting the, the same print going on, the same spiral, same star thing. All right, so there's the inside of that one there. Light going to catch it? Okay, there's a good look right there. You can see we got like chocolate frosting going on in there. All right, down the hatch. Okay, once again, not too shabby. Um, same chocolate shell on the outside. The chocolate cream on the inside. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be boring, chocolate on chocolate, but it's not. Wow. All right, the chocolate on the inside this time, it does kind of overwhelm. The chocolate shell, it buries that flavor, but it's chocolate and chocolate. So like I said, you know, where does it start? Where does it end? But the chocolate on the inside has definitely got a standout flavor of its own. Uh, what we got going on there seems to be like the hot chocolate that you would pour all over, say, uh, a dessert. 
or ice cream, it's filled with that. It's like drinking syrup right out of the bottle. Definitely hitting the same marks on the sweetness scale there. But in my opinion, I kind of like that one better than the regular one. I'm going to give that one a high 4 out of 5. All right, moving on to the third and final Cadbury egg that we have on the show today, but not the last egg that we'll be seeing. This is the Cadbury Caramel Cream Egg. And it's pretty much a clone of the last two that we've seen. All right, and there's the uh, caramel cream on the inside of that one. How messy. All right, down the hatch. Oh, yeah, that is nice right there. Um, once again, same chocolate shell. That flavor comes through this time, but that caramel just comes rolling in. It's like someone just melted Werther's all over the inside and let it cool. Once again, seems to be like the same kind of caramel that you'd be putting down on ice cream or other kind of desserts. But once again, here, it plays nicely with the chocolate like caramel always does. Um, like I say, the thick shell and the amount of caramel that's on the inside, it's a perfect blend. In that sense, it's a lot like the original one. Uh, the chocolate one, like I say, it seems like the stuff on the inside of the chocolate one was taken over the shell. But here we got a nice ratio. You get both flavors. Man, does it come across real nice. Uh, once again, it wouldn't be a go-to for me. But this one, I like it just as much as the chocolate one, I say, if not slightly more, just a hair. This is also going to be a high 4 out of 5. All right, time to move on to the Oreo egg. And uh, let's take a peek at that one real quick. Okay, this is the new modern packaging for the Oreo egg. Okay, there you go. This is the old packaging. It, it used to come in like a, a hard shell, like that. And they would decorate this for the holidays. Like some of them would look like ghosts. At Christmas time, they might look like snowmen, something like that. But yeah, they opted to quit using the hard shell, which kept it intact until you bought it. And now it's just lazily wrapped in foil, like all the other ones. Uh, the eggs get damaged sometimes before you can even buy them. People just stand there at the checkouts and mash their thumbs into them. Ooh. All right, and there you go. There's a look of it outside of its foil wrapper. Um, also, this is exactly what it looked like outside of its plastic hard container also. But, uh, yeah, looking like it's coming off the exact same presses that the Cadbury eggs are, just a different design on there. All right, and this one's exactly like the ones I've seen in the past, the ones that came in the hard shells. Uh, instead of a, a goopy filling, we've got more of like a, a, hard, a firmer. Let's, I'm not going to say hard. It's more of a, a firm center going on there with the cream. You see the speckles, cookies and cream, Oreo. All right, down the hatch with that. All right, like I said, it's not the first time I've had the Oreo egg. Um, I've had it in the past. We've seen it on the show here in the past. It appears nothing's changed. Uh, it's got the same chocolate outside, uh, very reminiscent of the chocolate that's on the outside of the Cadbury one. The cream filling on the inside, though, it doesn't really taste like the cream on the inside of an Oreo. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but... Something about the whole makeup of this. Uh, it doesn't really taste like an Oreo. It does taste like some of the cookies and cream candy bars that I've had off the shelf before. Uh, not necessarily uh, Oreo branded ones. Oreo makes their own. But I think even like in the past, like Hershey's, uh, some of the other candy bar companies have produced cookies and cream candy bars. They taste very similar to this. You get the little crunchy bits of the cookie mixed throughout the cream that's on the inside. You got your standard issue chocolate shell, but something about the uh, the cream and those crunchy cookie bits. Let me say it's a, it's a very firm type of cream, um, and it, it's got I don't know. It's hard to say. It's, it's manufactured flavor. Definitely doesn't taste natural. Um, it definitely tastes like something that was concocted, something that was forced. This is cookies and cream. This is what we're going to make people think cookies and cream is, and it's like more like just white chocolate with a, a, a little sprinkle of the cookie bits. I don't know. It's just not getting it for me. That I'm going to have to give that a 3 out of 5. I mean, if given one, I could eat it, but I'm not going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Last but not least, that Reese's egg that I told you, the little maraca. Yeah, Reese's Pieces in the center of this one. Now this one, I have to say, is slightly bigger than all of the other eggs. If we can compare them real quick before I fit. Well, I, I got a second one here. We'll just grab the second one that I haven't started peeling on. But you can see the, uh, the size difference in these two eggs. This one's the size of all the Cadbury ones. This one here, a little bit bigger. Uh, I guess because it's hollow, you have to have more room on the inside to fill it. All right, and there's this one outside. Focus, there we go. And there's this one outside of its uh, foil wrapper. And it's more of a design of like an Easter egg. I like that. It's also a different shade of brown 
than the other chocolates made by the other ones. Now, without looking at the wrappers, I'm going to say the other ones are made by somebody else. So this is definitely a, a darker chocolate. Not to say that it's dark chocolate, it's just darker in color. I guess you're supposed to break this thing open. I'm cutting it open with a bread knife. Um, it appears it's just going to crack. Okay, here we go. Here's the inside. I'll let you have first look. And yeah, it, it's filled with uh, Reese's Pieces. You see that? Is it focusing? Oh, we're just losing them. But yeah, you can kind of see that, right? There you go. Let me try the uh, chocolate shell first. Yeah, it's a way better chocolate than we found on the other one. Yeah, totally different chocolate than what's on the other ones. This one's more of a... Um, I'm going to go on a limb here and say it's more of an, like an American flavor chocolate. It's actually slightly richer than the other one, surprisingly. Uh, inside, yeah, it's just filled with Reese's Pieces. Down the hatch. Man, I love Reese's Pieces. I like them better than M&M's. So I'm biased on that note. But however, I think this is, out of all the products, this one's probably the laziest. Uh, they just made a, a chocolate egg, hollowed it out, and threw one of their other products in there. I think if, if they really wanted to outdo the other ones, this one would be filled with uh, like the peanut butter cream that they put inside of the cups. With these, with the Reese's Pieces mixed throughout it. I don't know how that would raise the price of manufacturing, what the cost of the egg would be when all was said and done, but that would be how to stand out from the other ones. Let's say, this is lazy to me. It's just Reese's Pieces inside of a chocolate egg. Big deal. Not something I would seek out. Um, I would rather just buy a bag of Reese's Pieces and be done with it. So this one, I'm going to give... Yeah, once again, a solid three. All right, so there you have it. A pile of uh, chocolate candy Easter eggs. Uh, everything ranging from Cadbury to Reese's. Uh, you probably had some of these. Let us know what you think down in the comment section. Till next time, I'm Mr. Dirty. This is the GTM Show. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. Hope you're having a good Easter. But until next time, get out of here. Have a rotten day.